اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وبعد my dear, most respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, in uh, the Holy Quran, reveals to us some, something of the true nature of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the blessed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And among the wonderful verses, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed which honors the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is this special ayah in Surah Al-Ahzab where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuhalladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Verily, Allah and His angels send blessings upon the Prophet. O you who believe, invoke blessings upon him and salute him with a worthy salutation. This is an amazing verse in the Quran. And the scholars of Islam over these past 14 centuries have written volumes on the implications and the meanings and the significance of this one verse, this one ayah in the Quran. Today we share with you some special benefits and blessings of salawat, of invoking blessings on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And among the special blessings that the scholars have mentioned in analyzing the verses of the Quran and in reflecting on the hadith, the sacred traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And of course, in reflecting upon this specific ayah that we have referred to, in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, they have said that there are many blessings of salawat, many benefits of salawat or salat and salams on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Firstly, as a result of us, the believers, the followers of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, engaging in salawat, we obtain the rewards for obeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah, in the verse in the Quran says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. This is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed to the believers, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O you who believe. And then the believers are commanded to invoke blessings on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and salute him with the worthy salutations. In other words, to engage in salat and salams. And so, 
we, when we engage in Salat and Salams, in Salawat, in Darood, on the Prophet alayhi salat wasalam, we are responding to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are obeying the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in doing so, there are rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, there is an important point we want to share with you uh, concerning this specific command that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives to us through this ayah in the Quran. Uh, he says, In Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. And then the command uh, follows from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the believers to do likewise. And so the second point that we want to mention in terms of the blessings of salawat is that when we engage in salawat or reciting durood, we are in agreement with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does in sending salat on the Prophet alayhi salat wasalam, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he is doing that. And then he commands the believers to do that. The, the two levels of salat, salawat are, are different. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is praise and honor bestowed on the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The praise and honor that he bestows upon him, which is perpetual, which is continuous. Also, the, the conveying of the dua that we make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we recite salat and salams and durood on the Prophet alayhi salat wasalam, such as to say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin. O oh Allah, send your blessings on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala convey the blessings of that dua to the Prophet alayhi salat wasalam. And so, Allah, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is praise and honor bestowed on the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it is him conveying the, the blessings of the dua we make to him for the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam when we send the salat and salams and durood on the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. For the believers now, it is the dua and the invocation. The dua that we make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, such as when we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin. O oh Allah, send your blessings on the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So, when we engage in salat and salams, we are in agreement with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing. But we must understand that the two are different. The af'al of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are unique to him. Unique, the, the actions and, and, of Allah, and doings and sayings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are unique to him. They're divine. And the af'al af of uh, the bashar, the people, uh, are unique to us in, in what we do. So our actions are at the level of human actions, whereas the actions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are divine. And the two are not different. Nevertheless, we follow this command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم اللهم صل